Hi everyone, so September 22nd is Hobbit Day. So to celebrate, we are making Miravor from Lord of the Rings. Apparently there is a text in Lord of the Rings that's very in-depth and Tolkien basically describes Miravor as a sort of mead that is made by the elves. So you're going to start by prepping your equipment. So you're going to take sodium metabisulfite and you're going to use that to clean your glass bottle. Once your glass bottle is completely rinsed out, you're going to fill it with 500 grams of honey. Top that with warm, not hot, filtered water, about two liters worth of that. Then sprinkle in the yeast. You're gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes so the yeast activates. Then you're gonna close the swing top of the bottle and give the bottle a really good shake until the honey seems to have dissolved. Pop open the bottle again, then attach the demijohn and the airlock and fill the airlock with filtered water then you're going to set that bottle aside in a dark spot. Okay, so a quick update. Um, my mead isn't done. I've only been letting it sit for a few weeks, but I thought I'd give a little update um, to just sort of test how it's going. It probably has at least another few weeks. Um, you know, when you start reading about meads and stuff, they can take up to a year, sometimes six months, just a few weeks. All the recipes completely differ. But we're gonna quickly taste test and I'll tell you how mine's going or whether it's a complete flop. Um, and then I'll pop this back and just let it keep sitting if it's working. So. Not too bad. I taste the fizziness, so it's still working the mead. Um, it's kind of, I'd say fruity. Um, it's just a nice light sort of drink. Definitely alcoholic. Um, you can just taste hints of that yeast and the honey and stuff. So considering this has only been sitting for um, two, three weeks, it's doing pretty well. So we're going to leave this and set it aside and see how well it is in another few weeks. Unfortunately, it's going to be after Hobbit month. So this is why I'm going to share this now. Um, but I will share on something like Instagram or Facebook or one of the channels um, my end result for my mead. At this point, there are a few different options. Some people will drink it straight away. Others will pour it into another bottle so the yeast doesn't sit on the bottom and make it all murky. If you are gonna do this, make sure you clean your airlock and demijohn with sodium metabisulfite again before using in a clean bottle.